That's your service, to be an experimental beacon from my program. I have shit I'm doing. Excuse my language, Lord. I have military exercises that I need to put out. Instead of paying people millions of dollars to be well-trained and to sit there, I'm going to pay somebody with no training. If you get shot, they'll give you $1,000. Because when you get shot, you will be hospitalized. It will hurt to the point your wealth and your bruise will be to the point where you are hospitalized. Because you need to go to the hospital so they can document what the procedure created. What happened? Okay, you shoot somebody, they bruise up, they go to the hospital, and they can be arrested. Because they're in the hospital, they can't go anywhere. As soon as they get healed up, they're going to jail. You see what I'm saying? For throwing an, an object at this robot. Then they're going to say, well, you know, the robot has no right to violate. It says, what space are you violating? Human space and robot space are two different spaces. The robot space can occupy spaces humans cannot. So wherever a human can go, the robot can't go. The robot has to go anywhere else, in the air, on the wall, on the floor, underneath the floor. Robots of all sizes. Robots the size of pennies, robots the size of bowlers, robots the size of, 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 of states. Huge robots. It's a robot the size of New Jersey. That was built by robots. You see what I'm saying? There's a robot that builds a, a robot that's so huge that it weighs the earth down. So the argument is... Can something be created on earth that's so heavy it pushes the mass of earth down a coordinate in space? And I don't know the answer to that. I don't know the answer to that. But a robot can be built that can be not only seen from space but totally identified from space. Super centers. Super centers that can be built in minutes. A robot that can build an entire building in minutes. This used to take weeks and months, and in minutes they can put this up. It's a robot about the size of the, the city of Los Angeles. It's a huge robot, and it's in a huge, huge field. And the robot builds buildings, and then the buildings are shipped to their locations. So, for example, they have a plane that's about the size of a building that is flown by a robots and a man. It's a man on the bottom of the plane. It has his two hands like this. And then it's a cabin underneath where there's a man. And then in the, in the, the wings are, are, you know, like this. And it, and it fly and it, this is about the size of a building and it flies it. it it creates a building and then they fly it to where it's going. And you know what I'm saying? They have this, dog. So that's how you deal with the homeless problem is that you just, you flake them out with military procedures and let them be used for whatever. And then have programs to get the people off the street. Then the military can fund programs to end homelessness altogether because you put a billion dollars in the homeless problem in LA, it's no more homeless problem. But it's these military encampments, they're, they're called hyper projects. And okay, you can live in this hyper project where they have crime exercises all the time. So then what they start having people do is they start having outer prison visits so that people can still go to jail but instead of there being a building for jail they have a device they put on you and you have to stay in a certain facility outside of jail so you can interact with people that are not in jail but you can't leave a particular perimeter is 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 much worse than that is much worse than that I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll vomit and, 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 and you may die.
you may have a severe vomiting to where you die. It's a, it's like a shot of the way I felt the other day laying there. It's like that, but they just hit you with that. If you ever try to leave, you try to leave, it's like immediately, oh, and you just, you know, you can't breathe, you can't see, you know, it's like you just, you got to crawl back to the perimeter. Because it's supposed to be like jail, but it's jail anywhere. You, know, you have robots that, you know, patrol the neighborhood and will shoot you with those non-lethal bullets. And you go to the hospital. It's, it's guaranteed you go to the hospital. The, the hit is so severe that you will, you will go to the hospital. You won't be able to move if, if the thing shoots you. And the only way it will shoot you is if you throw something at it or you shoot at it. So you can shoot at it with a gun, and it's still going to shoot you with non-lethal bullet. And, you know, the only way you could break the machine is if you, you, you know, unscrew the panel that's inside several panels. So it's like three or four panels that you have to unscrew to get to the main panel to shut it off because it's, it's not a it's not a passcode shut off it's all it's a it's a danger shut off to where if something happens to where you need to turn it off you have to go through three panels so you have to deal you have to potentially get shot three times to open it up so you know one time we'll send you to the hospital you know what i'm saying so it's not there's nothing you really could do about that. Once once they turn it on, there's nothing you really could do. They have to from the satellite. They have to turn it off, and then the turn off is only for 24 hours. So after 24 hours, it will hunt you down. The machine will hunt you down unless you get past a certain perimeter. And if they spot you before the perimeter, they'll send the infrared to the next one, and the next one will hunt you in its perimeter. And you never know how many of these robots there are. And they're very cheap. They're made from recycled material. They're very cheap. You could buy one for your home for like a thousand dollars. You can buy one. Very, very cheap. Very, very cheap. And then eventually you can start getting them everywhere. You can go to Walmart, you can get, you know, lawn robots, and, you know, protects from anything from, from ants to dogs. You know, anything tries to get in the yard it is gonna take care of it. It, it, anything that's of a certain weight is a spray. Anything that's of a certain weight, it's a projectile. You know what I'm saying? Is is it's a very sophisticated robot, but it's cheap because it's made from recycled material. There's an article in the paper that talks about expresses. that recycled plastics you can't tell the difference now because the way things are made you don't know what has been recycled or what hasn't because there was a, a let's say a notebook maker and he argues he says well if we can make notebooks from recycled materials and they look good why can't we just make everything else and it's like a stigma it's like well you know it's from trash you know we're we're polishing trash you know we can't you can't polish trash and Somebody said, well, it's not trash anymore. Once it gets recycled, it's no longer what it was. It's something different. And they're saying the, the origins were trash. This is when the origins were, were cups and silverware and microwaves and refrigerators and computer parts and car parts. Whatever metals we found, that's what it was before. And we melted it into a, a, an alloy combining it also with plastic it's like a thin malleable plastic it's like plastic sponge material that they melt into the alloy and it doesn't when it cools it doesn't burn away it's, it's like a it's a cheap plastic sheet but it's metal so basically when you heat it up you can mold it to be a panel and then when it dries it's a panel now it's a metal panel 
and you would have to superheat it. Every time you got to heat it up a certain like three or four times hotter than what it took to heat it up. So the first time is tender. But by the fifth time, it's virtually impossible. You would basically have to put this in the sun for it to go back to unless you put it in a certain chemical and this chemical is only available from like the military or something it's just you can't buy this chemical it, it has to be licensed to you so That's how you fix a homeless problem, man. In any pest problem, you put a robot on it. That's all. You just put a robot on pests. And little baby robots the size of like rabbits bouncing around and they're quiet. They're quiet. That's what's so scary about them is they're quiet. They don't make a lot of robot noise that you would expect until they, they need to be oiled or something like that, which is like after about a year or so. They need to be serviced. But you don't really hear them. You just see them. But it's a robot. And there's no fine if you take it away. But if you get found with it and it's not yours, you know, you get, you like, you go to jail, dude. Like, the, there's no fine for stealing them, you know. But if you take it, and somebody sees that it's, it's not yours because they have scanner. If they see that it's not yours, you're going to jail, dog, because you stole it. Don't get caught. That's the motto of the, the era. The next era is don't get caught. It's not don't do it. It's don't get caught. You know, if you, didn't, if you did do it and I didn't see it, it's nothing I can do. I can't. You know, I can't verify whether or not you did this or that. I, I just don't know if you did it or not. But if I catch you, I know you did it. And the, and the punishments are, are, are severe, dog. They're severe. They're severe for anything. For stealing, it's a year. And like I said, jail anywhere is a concept that they're going to 